Who here enjoys watching movies? Let me rephrase that question. Who here does not like watching movies? With the advent of streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime, I'm pretty sure that many of you have watched movies on a daily basis. Whether you're a casual movie watcher or a movie fanatic, many of you have probably tuned in to watch the Academy Awards, otherwise known as the Oscars. The hashtag, OscarSoWhite, was coined on January of 2015 after the 2015 Academy Award nomination cycle were announced. This hashtag was used to protest the underrepresentation of people of color in annual Academy Awards. There are no people of color nominated in any categories for the Oscars except Best Film and Best Director. The movie Selma is a great example of a film that was chosen for the Oscars. This movie recounts Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s historical voting rights. Mexican director Alexander Inarritu won Best Director for The Revenant, featuring Leonardo DiCaprio. The hashtag, Oscar So White, has reappeared the, during the 2016 Academy Award nomination cycle. Campaigns such as Oscar So White has raised awareness for the need for more racial diversity in Hollywood, but that isn't the industry's only problem. Another problem was that people of color were being constantly stereotyped on screen. Too often, actors from minority groups who land roles in prestigious TV shows and films are often asked to play the smallest roles and their ethnic group stereotypes. These racial stereotypes, ranging from blacks to Asians, continue to persist. Let's specifically look at how people are being stereotyped or portrayed on screen. Asian American men are usually depicted as geeks, math wizards, nerds, techies, and as non-masculine. You're more likely to see Latinos play recent immigrants, maids and gardeners, and criminals. Arabs are often depicted as oil sheiks and as terrorists to the United States. Lastly, Native American men are usually depicted as bloodthirsty warriors, craving blood and wanting to hurt white women. It is interesting to take note of two recent Hollywood box office movies that have gained huge success in Hollywood, Black Panther and Crazy Rich Asians. Black Panther is an all-black cast, while Crazy Rich Asians featured an all-Asian cast, which hasn't been done for the last 25 years until the movie Joy Luck Club premiered. Both these movies was a huge step forward for racial representation. The huge successes of these movies will pave the future for Hollywood, allowing different stories about different ethnic groups to be told other than the stereotypes. In conclusion, I want you guys to think about whether you had any preconception about certain ethnic groups before meeting someone that could actually represent that group and see if your initial stereotypes were right or wrong. You may be surprised how many things you learned that is new other than your stereotypes. Now, you may know from experience that there is no typical mold for certain ethnic groups, but only the way you want to portray them. Thank you.